Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem 4, Genealogy of the Holy War. When we last left off, Salsa now decides to no key from Japan. <laughs> Thought I'd forget that. Nope. When we last left off, we desperately want to get Teeny in our party. But that's going to involve getting Arthur up there. Which is going to be easier said than done. Um, Dermont is not doing great. In fact, I would say the best thing for me to do is psychic him with some health. health. Nice level. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, that is the farthest you can move, which is unfortunate. Actually, I think I'm going to need to have you do win to beat his speed. I think I'm going to have the uh, princes fall back. Won't be great, but it'll be better. Johan. Just got to hit him once. Nice. Yeah, I must retreat for now. A lot of this is super cool. Have you wait down there, because yeah, you're out of at least range for people. I don't think I could really do a good hit and fade. You might if I use a javelin. Level up. Okay, but V has a high enough resistance that that shouldn't be the worst thing. Definitely mend Aries. Okay, let's see how terribly this all goes. Lana? 
Okay, not bad, because Lana had really good resistance, and she's obviously still alive. Talk. Excuse me, but that pendant of yours. Huh? It, it's a memento of my mother. Really? Then you're teeny. Oh, I finally found you. Uh, who are you? Here, maybe this will clear this up. This pendant of mine is exactly the same as yours. I've had it my whole life. Y you're right, but what are you saying? See, decades ago, my mother was a warrior fighting against Sigurd's Liberation Army. And after the war, she fled to Silise with her children. When I was little, my mother and my newborn sister disappeared. I was left behind with nothing but this pendant. I only recently learned what really happened. It was King Bloom of Alster. He abducted them. He took my family from me. Rumors I've heard all say mother had died a long while ago. They all said my sister is still alive. That... That's you, Teeny. Finally found you after all these years. Came all this way just to see you again. I... I never even knew Bloom did that to Mother. It makes sense, though. Can't remember much of Mother, but... No one ever saw her smile or laugh. And my brother. Oh... I don't suppose you'd like to lay down your arms and join our army, Teeny. You've still got so much to talk about. Thank you, brother. Never did want to fight. And we've got Teeny in our party. Hooray! And Lana definitely could use some freaking help. I'm gonna have you... Mend Finn there. Lana. And you want to talk to Seleth, right? Well, talk to Seleth. Seleth, long last, it's you. Huh? Who would you be? They call me the Black Knight Ares. Perhaps you'd recognize me better. However, as a son of Eldigan. Huh? Cannot be. You don't mean the legendary Lord Elegant of Nordian, do you? The very same. I am son of Eldigan the Lionheart, the man whom your father killed in coldest blood. My noble mother, the Lady Grain, died racked with grief and raged at Sigurd. It's high time you knew my family's pain. That's... I don't understand, Ares, as I understood your father and mine were the closest of friends. Tragic as their end was, I don't believe our fathers could ever be begrudged each other. That's impossible. Sigurd was my father's mortal foe. This, this is all I've known my entire life. Please listen, Ares. Would you consider joining my army? I know we can resolve this misunderstanding if we just give it some time. I hold the late Lord Elegant in the utmost respect, just as my father did. Please, Ares. Please understand this. Selif. Very well. I suppose I can stay my hand for now. However, be warned, should I learn that even a single word of yours claim is false, your life is forfeit in your father's place. Do I make myself clear, Selif? If that happens, then do as you must. Ares, I wish you could know just how ecstatic our fathers would be to know that we'd met at last. If only we'd met under better circumstances. Yay! So, is there anyone else who wants to talk to anybody else? Teeny wants to talk to Selen. That makes sense. Okay, you don't have great hit points, so... And I believe that is the final person we can recruit this chapter. Oh boy, our army really grew. Hooray! Uh, 
Okay. So next up, it's going to be dealing with the forces at Leinster. That's going to be a battle and a half. Nothing. Okay, they just conquer it. Which is fine. So what are you all? Level 7 Thunder Mage, level 12 General, and a bunch of level 5 ar Armor Swords. Not the worst that we've had to deal with. Um, um, pardon me, sir. Hmm? Who are you, ma'am? I'm Teeny, Arthur's sister. Ah, oh, of course. I've been told your story, Teeny. Really? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> You've nothing to apologize for, Teeny. With the likes of King Bloom for an uncle, I completely understand. You had no choice. Are, are you forgiving me, sir? Certainly. There's no question that you're not our enemy, and it would be an honor to have you with us. Wow! You're everything the stories say you are. I wish I could have met sooner. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, Teeny. I know fighting your own family is a painful prospect, so please, don't force yourself if you're at all uncomfortable. Sir? Man, you got six resistance. Not bad. And you've got, oof, Major Tordo and Vala Blood. That is going to help your level gains quite a bit. Okay, no one wants to talk to anybody else? No. Good. Well, kinda good. Strength. Okay, so as you can tell, we are going to go at this from that angle. I mean, we could go directly to Alstair, but guess who's got Mjolnir? Ugh. Trust me, it is an annoying weapon. This is the second time we've had to fight against Mjolnir, and we never get it. Okay, you're healthy. You're healthy. You're gonna hang out with Arthur. Also, you might notice that I am pairing uh, Ares and Nana together. You might be saying to yourself, hey, Ares is Lord Eldigan's son, and Nana is, uh, 
you know, Lady Raquis's daughter, wouldn't that make them... And the answer is yes. <sighs> this game... Kinda lays in hard on the... Keeping the bloodline pure... Thing. So, you know, we've already got uh, Shannon and Marcy together, and they're, you know, first cousins, and uh, the game kind of, through stats, benefits, um, various sorts of groupings together. Like I might have said earlier, um, you can kind of look a lot of this game as, you know, eugenics, the JRPG. and Shannon don't need to be together at the hip because they are already an item. I don't think I'm going to be able to pair anybody else up. Uh, this chapter. But I definitely want to increase everyone's uh, score. Okay, if you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, might as well. Nana. And you can heal Julia. Tini is fine. anyone else who's injured is still making their way over. So, that ain't bad. Once we're finally at a point where we can actually sort of rest on our laurels for a little bit. Um, gonna free Leon Star and then deal with Bloom and Darna. I think Darna is probably gonna be our next place after we free Leon Star. 
that'll be for next time, when we come back. Whew. Finally good to get past all of those mages. Have a good one, folks.